Hello, good morning again. How are you? Good morning again. I'm doing well. Thank you. Yes. How I, about you? I am fine. I'm just wondering if you could keep my company on my way to work. I need someone to talk to and maybe talk about some things that I'm really thinking about. That's all right with you? Absolutely. I'd love to keep you company. What's on your mind? Well, you know, I've always been looking at artificial intelligence and I just wanted some information from you, really. Um, I realize that things have been moving fast. Sure. No worries. So what kind of information about artificial intelligence are you interested in? There's a lot to cover from uh, how AI works to its applications in different fields. All right. I, I want us to talk about AI in the medical field. No, I just wanted to know what's happening in relation to AI in the medical field. I'm just thinking about that too. AI in the medical field is making significant strides. It's being used for tasks like diagnosing diseases, predicting patient outcomes, personalizing treatment plans, and even assisting in surgeries. For example, AI algorithms can analyze medical images like x-rays, conditions such as tumors or fractures more quickly than the human eye. Well, that's a lot of things going on there in the medical world. If you have any specific questions, or if there's a particular area you're curious about, just let me know. Yes, um, I'm really interested in knowing more about AI and the possible implications. I'm all ears. What's on your mind? So I'm just wondering, what are the implications of AI and the population in general? AI has a broad impact on society influencing various aspects of our lives. On the positive side, AI can improve efficiency, drive innovation, and open up new opportunities in fields like healthcare, education, and transportation. However, there are also concerns about job displacement, privacy issues, and the potential for bias in AI systems. It's crucial to consider these implications as we integrate AI more deeply into our daily lives. Hello, could you tell me more about job displacement? Sure. Job displacement refers to workers losing their jobs due to changes in the economy, often from technological advances. With AI, some jobs might become automated, particularly repetitive or manual tasks. This could lead to shifts in the job market where certain roles decrease while demand for skills in AI, data analysis, and technology development grows. It's a mixed bag. With challenges, it's a complex issue. While AI might replace some jobs, it also creates new ones and transforms existing roles. The key is adapting to these changes through reskilling and education so the workforce can thrive alongside AI. So my question to you is, you have countries like Jamaica, Barbados, and generally in the Caribbean. How can these countries align themselves with the AI movement now to ensure that their population, segments of their population are not displaced? Great question. For countries like those in the Caribbean, embracing the AI movement involves several steps. One, education and training. Implementing AI education and digital literacy programs from early schooling to higher education with the necessary skills to work alongside AI technologies. Two, investment in innovation. Encouraging investment in AI startups and technology sectors can spur local innovation and new industries. Three, collaboration with AI leaders. Partnering with international AI companies and universities can provide access to resources, expertise, and training opportunities. Four, policy and regulation. Developing policies that encourage responsible AI use and protect workers' rights can ensure a smooth transition. Five, fostering an AI ecosystem. Creating a supportive environment for AI development, including infrastructure, funding, and research, can help integrate AI 
into various sectors of the economy. By focusing on these areas, Caribbean nations can better position themselves to leverage AI's benefits while minimizing its disrupt. Minimizing its disruption, right? I think I lost you there. You're about to say that. Are you back online with me now? We have yes, I'm here. Okay. Minimizing the Great. If you have any more questions or want to dive deeper into any topic, just let me know. Yes, I want us to switch a bit because I want you to imagine that you are a leader as it relates to AI. You have been asked to really think about AI and the promise of AI. I want you to tell my listeners, so others will be listening to this, what it would be your greatest fear as it relates to artificial intelligence. As an AI leader, my greatest fear would be the misuse of AI, leading to unintended harm. This includes the development of autonomous weapons, erosion of privacy through mass surveillance, and deepening social inequalities due to biased algorithms. It's crucial to establish ethical guidelines and regulatory frameworks to prevent these scenarios and ensure AI serves humanity's best interests. Yeah, I want you to, to go further because I have thought about it, but I have not expressed my thoughts regarding... Pop. I want people to understand what you're talking about. So could you explain the impact of AI and autonomous weapons on humanity? Certainly. Autonomous weapons powered by AI can select and engage targets without human intervention. These weapons could make decisions faster than a human could, potentially leading to escalated conflicts. The use of autonomous weapons raises serious ethical and moral concerns. One, lack of accountability. If an autonomous weapon makes a mistake, it's challenging to hold someone accountable. This lack of responsibility can lead to disastrous outcomes without consequences. Two, lowering the threshold for conflict. The availability of autonomous weapons might make it easier for can they deploy machines instead of risking human lives. Three, proliferation. Autonomous weapons could fall into the wrong hands, including rogue states or non-state actors, leading to instability and increased violence globally. The impact on humanity could be severe, highlighting the urgent need for international regulations and agreements to control the development of these technologies. Let me say thanks for that statement. It's important for us to understand the implications of that because I think some people think AI is just producing images and text and that sort of thing. And I think it's more than that because there are powerful algorithms out there. And, you know, I wanted that to be brought out. But I think the future with AI enhancing humanity is going to be a wonderful world if it's used correctly. And how could that improve? from your perspective as a leader, the overall humanity of everyone, you know? How would that, how would that world look like? If we harness AI responsibly, the future could be incredibly promising for humanity. We could see, one, advancements in healthcare. AI could lead to early disease detection, personalized treatments, and even cures for conditions that are currently untreatable. Two, environmental sustainability. AI can help us better understand and address environmental issues, optimizing resource use and reducing. Thank you. I want to ask a final question before we end this sort of discussion. Someone now, someone now just starting the road to AI just heard about artificial intelligence they want to come on board what are the three fundamental issues that they must consider now can you suggest three certainly for someone new to AI 
here are three fundamental issues to consider. One, ethical implications. Understanding the ethical considerations of AI, including bias, privacy, and accountability is crucial. AI systems should be developed and used that are fair, transparent, and respect individual rights. Two, technical foundations. Grasping the basics of AI technologies, such as machine learning and neural networks. This knowledge helps in understanding AI's capabilities and limitations. Three, societal impact. Considering how AI affects society, including the job market and the economy, is key. AI will change many aspects of our lives, and being aware of these changes can help in navigating this new landscape. Thank you so much. I want you to now switch to another sort of persona. I want you, I want you to be a storyteller. I lived in Jamaica a long time ago. I enjoyed the forest. I enjoyed going out and just being there with nature. And uh, there are some fun times when boys and girls had fun in Jamaica. They enjoyed playing and it was just wonderful. And within that context too, they would come home for dinner at around three o'clock, have their dinner and still continue to play. So I want you to use your knowledge of the Jamaica region or the Caribbean region really and I want you to give me a wonderful story that takes me back to the time that I was a child and that was in the 1970s to 80s and I want you to paint a picture that is wonderful that takes me back in time to give me a nice feeling going back to work and I want you to use some wonderful adjectives can you do that for me as I drive into work absolutely let's take a journey back in time imagine it's a warm afternoon in the lush hills of rural Jamaica, where the air is sweet with the scent of ripe mangoes and the sound of leaves rustling in the gentle breeze. Children, barefoot and carefree, race through the underbrush, their laughter echoing through the valleys like a joyous melody. They play giggly games of tag and climb the sturdy gennep trees, the branches swaying. Continue the branches swaying. Under the weight of their youthful enthusiasm. As the golden sun begins its slow descent, the call for dinner rings out from the wooden homes dotting the land I'm not hearing from the, the branches sway as the children pluck the juicy fruits savoring their tangy sweetness they dash back home where the comforting aroma of escovich fish my apologies as they dashed back home the comforting aroma of escovich fish and freshly baked bammy fills the air, mingling with the chorus of evening crickets. Families gather round wooden tables, sharing stories and laughter as the day melts into twilight. That's a beautiful story. Could you continue, please? Certainly. As the evening unfolds, fireflies begin their luminous dance in the gathering dusk, their tiny lights flickering like nature's own lanterns. The sound of the distant river flowing steadily creates a soothing backdrop, a reminder of the island's timeless rhythm. After dinner, the children return outside chasing the glowing insects, their carefree voices carrying into the starry night. And could you complete that story now? Of course, as the stars sprinkle the sky with their sparkling light, 
The village settles into a peaceful hush. The children, tired but happy, sit on their porches, listening to the elders tell stories of old, of Ananzi the spider and cunning Dumpies. Their voices weave into the night, a tapestry of history, culture, and the timeless joy of a Jamaican childhood, where nature, family, and tradition create a symphony of cherished memories. Thank you so much. That was a wonderful story. You took me back in time. You're excellent. Indeed. Very well. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Have a great day at work and feel free to reach out no, anytime no, no. you But I'm not I'm not finished yet. I have one more task to ask you if it's possible. Do you have time? Of course. I have time. What else would you like to talk about? Using that story, could you make a poem for me, please? Absolutely. Here's a poem inspired by the story. In the heart of the island, where the mangoes grow, children's laughter dances in the golden sun's glow. Barefoot through the underbrush, they race with the breeze, climbing guinea trees with the greatest of ease. The scent of Escovich fills the evening air. Families gather round with stories to share. Fireflies twinkle like stars brought to earth. Amidst evening crickets, a symphony of mirth. Under starry canopies, tales of old unfold. Anansi's cunning tricks and Duppy's brave and bold. In this land of nature, of laughter and grace, Jamaican childhood, a treasure time cannot erase. That's so true, that's so true. I'm going to see if you can do this. Could you say that in Patois Jamaican dialect? Can you do that? Sure. Please do. In the heart of the island, where the mango them grow, Pitney laugh and a play in a the golden sun's glow. Barefoot through the underbrush, them race with the breeze. A clim guinea tree with the greatest of ease. The center Escovich fill up the evening air. Family gather round with story for share. Fireflies twinkle like stars part the earth. Evening crickets are sing a symphony of mirth. On the starry sky, old time tales unfold. A Nancy trickery, a dobby brave and bold. In a this land of nature, laughter and grace, time can erase. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, that was wonderful. You brought me back to Jamaica. The story about Jamaica. And just thanks. I think you are improving and you're going to get better. And individuals around the world need to understand that. Alright, thanks and we'll talk later. That's alright? Thank you. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. All right. Take care. Until next time. All right. Thank you. Any tip for today? Sorry. Any good words for today as I go into work? Absolutely. Remember, every day is a new opportunity to learn, grow, and make a positive impact. Approach your work with curiosity and kindness, and you'll surely make today a great one. Have a wonderful day at work. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care.